representative of Charles County. I come to you tonight representing another 165 other uh, Charles County residents who signed the letter that I'm going to read for you. <clears throat> The people who signed this letter live, work, vote in Charles County and support the comprehensive plan that's been sent before you. The plan adopted by the Planning Commission increases property values and creates new jobs. There are numerous federal, state, and county laws outside the comprehensive plan that protect the environment. The plan supported by the environmental community but rejected by the Planning Commission would shoehorn all future growth into Waldorf while downzoning vast tracts of private property within the rural areas in the development district. The rejected plan would destroy thousands of jobs within the real estate, development, and retail sectors of the Charles County economy. 43 years of smart, comprehensive plans have resulted in Charles County being the third wealthiest county in the state of Maryland. The proposed comprehensive plan builds on the solid foundation. The rejected plan ignores the current economic benefits for the Charles County and chokes off future economic growth. Every elected official talks about creating jobs. One of the best opportunities to attract new jobs to Charles County is the Maryland Airport upgrade to accommodate jet service. The proposed comprehensive plan suggests that Charles County commissioners prepare a sub-area plan for the land around the upgraded Maryland Airport to determine the best zoning categories to take advantage of the airport. It also requests a plan for constructing the infrastructure needed to attract new companies to the county. The rejected plan calls for zoning of all this area around the airport for conservation. Translation, no new jobs. The proposed comprehensive plan continues the policy directing 75% of future growth throughout the development district, not just Waldorf. The, comp the comprehensive plan reiterates the need for an east-west road in the development district. According to a recent poll con conducted by the Gonzalez firm, the Cross County Connector is supported by 69% of Charles County and opposed by just 19%. People who want roads and have consistently supported candidates in Charles County who are in favor of new road capacity. Our citizens deserve a transportation plan that includes roads, park and ride lots, bus service, and a reasonable plan for a future rail system. We need, we need traffic solutions now, not 30 years in the future. The rejected plan provides no new road capacity in the development district. The proposed comprehensive plan continues the preservation of rural land. To date, we have preserved 53% of the rural land in the county using existing programs that compensate the landowners for the development rights of their property. Continuation of these same plans will result in 75% of rural land ultimately being preserved. The proposed comprehensive plan does not confiscate property rights from our farmers and landowners and preserves rural Charles County. The rejected plan downzones 80% of the remaining undeveloped property in the rural area, destroying hundreds of millions of dollars of private Havrilla, property value. Thank you. I'd like to present.